looking for you even when you're not looking out for sin. The desire of sin is on you. The Bible says, God told Cain, he said, sin is standing at your door and its desire, it's on you, but you will rule over it. So you see, sin is spiritual. You don't get to see sin with your physical eyes. What we see with our physical eyes are the actions of sin, the results of sin, what sin has actually done. Okay, so now it is going to be um, stupid on my part to want to combat sin with my physical nature. That's actually why we have Jesus. Now, the Bible says that he has translated me from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. And he said, let not sin have dominion over me. So now Jesus is the response to the issue of sin. The more time we fellowship with him, we bring our the weakness of our Adamic nature face to face with him. He breaks it. He molds us into his exact image and into what he wants us to be. So spending time with God is surrendering the weakness of the flesh. You can't trust the flesh. You can't depend on the flesh. So you bring what you cannot depend on to a dependable God to make that particular part of your life to become strong and strengthened in him. So one way to combat the issue of sin is spending quality time with the Lord. I'm not saying going to church. You can go to church. Very fantastic. It's good to go to church. But what happens in church is a group fellowship. It's a group of people meeting with God. Not an individual meeting with God. And sometimes you can be in that group or you're absent-minded. Yes, so it's important that after you are back from church, you should also have a personal time to study and reflect on the nature and the character of God, to behold his face in prayers. And as you do, the nature of sin in you begins to break down. And you, are, you begin to be strengthened in your inner man in order to pursue the course of righteousness. But the moment you start leaving the presence of God, the moment you start replacing your time with God with other things, you are begin, you're strengthening the Adamic nature. You're strengthening your human weaknesses. You're energizing your flesh. And it begins to control you. It begins to rule over you. So God wants us, God wants us to come to that point where we surrender this weak, untrusted Adamic nature to him so that he can change it into a divine nature. So the responsibility is on me and it's also on you. God bless you.